Hi Facebook, Lisa Hall checking in. This is my 11th month of my post gastric sleeve and this is just a little update and check in. Um, just to let you all know that I am still at 170. I don't understand it. Um, and speaking with my primary care physician, he did state that you could be at a plateau for about six months or more. I'm hoping that's not the fact, but it's been four months already. So I think he knows what he's talking about. Um, so again, I'm at a doctor's appointment with my husband and I'm just waiting in the car. So sometimes I see people moving around. I want to know what they are, and what they're doing. Anyway, so again, I have been stagnant at 170. I just have... Sorry about that. That was my husband, of course, calling me for information. But anyway, so yes, I have been stagnant at 170 pounds. I don't know what to do. I'm not eating anymore. I'm not eating any less. Um, it does become frustrating after a while. But the doctor says as long as I maintain good eating and healthy eating, that there shouldn't be any issues. Um, the ups and downs, the ups and downs is I feel great. Um, I'm still able to keep up with my 16 month old now. Wow, 16 months. It went fast. And he's in his terrible twos already. But I'm able to keep up with him as much as possible. The downside is that even though I no longer have the diabetes um, or high blood pressure, I still have to take some medicine. But it's minor medicine. I have to take um, potassium and um, B12 for energy because um, all of my my energy is very low um, so I also try to research foods to give me higher um, energy um, <sighs> my husband he's gained 30 pounds I think he's bored or something he's like one of those eaters in the middle of the night um, he snacks, snacks, snacks. He's, he brings bad food into the house. And then he likes to bring stuff in that I like to eat also. So that he's not alone in this. But it's amazing though that it's, I'll just take one bite. And I'm able to walk away from it. So it's not as bad. You know, I'm not following him down that road back to being a, a fatty. Um and unhealthy so those are those are some things that I'm just trying to to overcome um, besides not working still still getting my um, EDD I took a month off because I'm about to do statistics so all this is a little stressful on me um, but I know it'll get better I know that the last 30 pounds will come off I'm already into a size 10, so 30 pounds should melt off when it starts to to finally, the plateau starts to decrease again. <sighs> I haven't been back to see the surgeon. I figure I'll go next month on my one year anniversary because I see my primary care all the time and he stays on top of everything. He takes blood work every other month, which I think all of that is really good to keep up with. Um, when you are, when you take this road and you, it's kind of cheating. It, it's definitely kind of cheating. Um, I'm still keeping in my mind as soon, as soon, as soon as I feel full, which could be one or two bites, I'm done. Um, I might save that for later, but I'm not, you know, I'm not going to finish it right then and there. Um, we still go out to eat. Food from a restaurant, though, might last us about two or three days. So that is, we definitely save money on food. Um, people are really not liking to hang out or come over. Even my mother, who's very small, um, thought that we were starving her to death um, because we just don't we don't eat on a regular basis and we don't eat a lot. So we don't, you know, we just don't. Um, but we still eat out. 
Um, we still have a good time. Um, every now and then I'm able to have a drink or two of wine. I don't really drink um, the hard stuff. Um, but life is so much better since I've lost a lot of the weight already. And even if I were to stay at this current weight and not lose the last 30 pounds, but I am, I'm going to lose that last 30 pounds, I'm still happy and healthy at my current weight. I'm 5'4". I'm currently 170 pounds, and I'm very, very happy with that. So if nothing else happens or comes from it, I'm healthy. That I cannot stress that enough. Um, for the first time in about, actually in the first time for about a year this morning, we I decided let's go to McDonald's because we were already out and get, uh, I wanted a sausage biscuit and a hash brown. Well, after I scarfed down the hash brown, it was about three more hours before I could even look at the biscuit. And then when I ate the biscuit, I took two bites and then just ate the meat. I threw the biscuit part out, which is good. Eat your protein. Eat your protein. Eat your protein. Um, over the holidays, when we were away, we went to Myrtle Beach for Thanksgiving. We were there for seven days. Seven days, I gained seven pounds. By the time we came back, I lost that seven pounds because I went back to not indulging. Um, I didn't drink as much wine because when I was on vacation, I did drink a lot of wine. So I'm thinking that that's really it that had me gain the weight. Um, when we came, they, everyone came to my house for Christmas, didn't gain that one extra pound. So at least I'm able to maintain what I have already lost. So if you have any questions or comments, um, about this journey that I'm on, please, by all means, leave me a comment, email me. You can follow me on Facebook at Lisa C. Paul Shell. You can see me on Instagram as Great Lady Eleven and Twitter Great Lady Eleven. Please let me know if you like this video. If there are things that I should go into details on that you want to hear more about, um, just give me the thumbs up, guys. All right, everyone, be healthy and safe, and Happy New Year!